Jermaine, your two predecessors at right tackle both ended up moving over to the left side. I know you kind of batted that around a little bit in the spring. I don't know if we got to a final decision yet, but what was that process like deciding whether you're going to follow in their footsteps and move to the left or whether you're going to stay on the right side? Well, um, I, I started the spring at, at the playing some left, you know, because I had played right the season before. And I um, played right the second half of spring, just moving around. Uh, trying some different offensive line combinations, but you know it's just um, where, wherever wherever they're comfortable with me at, I'll, I'll play. Uh, I think uh, I could play effectively at both spots, uh, and uh, wherever I wherever I do play, I, I just want to play well and have the best season of my career. Jermaine will go to the left side toward the back. Standing, go ahead. Jermaine, you mentioned Houston. How, how much does it mean to you to play that first game at NRG Stadium against Arizona State? What's that going to mean for you to be, have all the Aggie fans there for the first time and have that game there? Oh, it, mean, it means everything. And uh, it's NRG Stadium 10 minutes from my house. And it's a true blessing to be able to play uh, the, the first game of my fourth year in college at, at that stadium. It's, it's going to be a great atmosphere, and it even means even more that it's only an hour and a half from Aggieland, and uh, the fans get to travel and come see us play. Other questions? Is there one on the left, second row? Jermaine, uh, what, what changes have you seen with your new offensive line coach, and what differences might you guys, technique, scheme-wise, uh, just the way you approach things every day, all of the above? Uh, we, yeah, we definitely have uh, a lot of new run techniques. Um, and he's shored up a lot of the uh, flaws that we had in some of our uh, run game um, over the last year or so. Um, we, you know, we've improved our hands, our feet, you know, better splits, better spacing, things like that. And, you know, we feel real com confident that we can run the ball effectively we're gonna, while also being able to pass the ball effectively, having an effective offense, and still having that great tempo that, that, we, that this offense pride themselves on. Right side toward the back. Obviously, Texas is the historic rival, but is there a school that you look at as the Aggies' main rival uh, in the SEC? Well, I'm guessing, well, location-wise, I'd say LSU. Um, I, I still, I still think that's that's a great rivalry game for us. You know, we have we have we've been on uh, kind of the the short end of the, short end of the of that rivalry, I guess, the last couple times, but. You know, I still see them as a, as a, you know, a healthy rival for A&M. You know, especially geographically, how close we are. I think that's that could be uh, definitely turn into one of a big SEC rival for us. Left side, front row. Jermaine, Kevin's mentioned Kyle uh, Allen taking tremendous strides between you know, the end of the season and the bowl game in the leadership department. What have you seen from him since spring practice when you guys are working on on the field and, and the weight room and everything? Well, he's just continued to grow. You know, he's he's a smart kid. He's a he's a sponge. He's soaking everything up from uh, Coach Bavitol and you know learning from the older guys, even if they don't, even if it isn't from the quarterback position. And you know, he's he's you know he's a, he's as bright he's as bright a kid as you want. He's the kind of guy you want at quarterback for your team. He's the guy, kind of guy you want leading you out the tunnel uh, when you want to win a, a big game or any game. So you know, he just continues to make strides. He's He's impressed me. He's impressed everyone in the program with his maturity as just an 18, 19 year old. And you know, he's gonna he's gonna continue to get better. It's almost scary that he's he he came in and just you know he played well last season and led led the troops and rallied the troops for a couple big wins. And you know, he's gonna be great for years to come. Staying on the front row. Jermaine, it seems like the growing trend in college football is to give everybody the position group U, DBU, RBU, with the success you guys have had on the O-line over the past few years. I mean, is that something for you guys that it's O-line U? Yeah, I mean, it's the, um, and, you know, it doesn't get talked about as much with Texas A&M, but, you know, we had, we've had three first-round picks in the last three years, and we had a fifth-round pick last year, and we had uh, uh, one of the centers on the Seahawks uh, Last year, even though he was an undrafted free agent, he was a great leader for us, and we all looked to him and Patrick Lewis. So we have we have guys uh, littered all over the league, and we we pride ourselves on breeding good offensive linemen, and we have high expectations on our offensive line. You know, it's not just any any old offensive line. You can't just play. You know, we you know we, you can be talented and all that stuff, but if you if you don't if you aren't bought in and and bought into the tradition of greatness on our offensive line, you can't play. Because our expectation is, you're as an offensive lineman at A&M, if you're starting, you're going to be in the National Football League. 
We'll stay on the left side, second row. Jermaine, who are some of the best uh, pass rushers that you've faced so far in your career, in your opinion, and is there anybody you're looking forward to going against this year? Um, it's a great pass rusher. I have one on my team. I have a couple on my team. Uh, Miles Garrett. Uh, we all we all know Miles. You know the freak of nature in college football. We, uh, Deshaun Hall is a great pass rusher. I faced another one on my team. As far as on-field competition. Uh, Trey Flowers is probably the best defensive end I've ever faced. You know, he I faced him in my uh, second SEC game and, and had kind of a had kind of a rough time with him because he, you know, he's a four year veteran and and he, you know, he um, he he made me fix some things in my game because he was he was a good player. He was he's not he's not gonna walk on the field and intimidate anybody, but he just did all the small things right and was a, a great player for Arkansas and now I think for the Patriots. Other questions for Jermaine? Left side. Where are we going? In the back, go ahead. Jermaine, we know you guys have had changes up front with your coaching staff on the offense line. The defense has also had a coaching change as you faced that during the spring and saw the defense develop. How different do you think the defense will be this year under John Chavis? Uh, well, all the, the expectations are for them to be a very good defense, you know, not to not to move up a few spots, not to just be middle of the pack. But our expectation is for our defense to be very good this year. And they have all the talent, all the ability and all the coaches to do it. And, you know, we expect great things from our defense, just like for our offense. We expect them to challenge us, just like we expect uh, us to challenge them. So, you know, we expect nothing but good things from our defense this year. And, you know, they, they, they've, bought, they've bought into everything Coach Chavis has done and everything Coach Sumlin, all the expectations Coach Sumlin has put on them. So we expect our defense to be one of the best in the country. Any other questions for Jermaine? Okay, thank you, Jermaine.